Happiness is a wonderful, fleeting emotion. Learn to make every one of your happy moments count. My name is Robert Rio, and this is the Happy Moments Podcast. Every Monday and Friday, I bring you a brief, to-the-point episode, not only about how to find more happy moments, but to make those happy moments count. Be sure to visit my website at happymomentspodcast.com to get all of the podcast episodes and to sign up to get all of the new episodes directly in your inbox. Now let's get to today's episode. Hey team, today I have an episode that kind of is against the grain of what I normally do, but I entitled this one, Don't Believe Your Own Shit. And the reason I titled it this is because a lot of us talk shit on ourselves. A lot of us have that little voice in the back of our head that just doesn't stop. That just keeps yapping and yapping and yapping. And usually in a negative way, it just keeps talking trash, keeps talking trash. Usually in a way that tells you you can't do something. You're not good enough. You'll never achieve what you want to achieve. You're not good looking enough. You're not skilled enough. You're not tall enough. You're not skinny enough. You're not, it doesn't matter what it is or what the excuse is, but that voice is usually there and it's usually louder than anything else you hear when you're trying to accomplish something. And the goal and the purpose of this episode is to try to help you tune that voice out is to try to help you overcome that voice and turn that voice into a positive voice to basically turn that trash talker off. So how do you do that? Basically you think about it. You hear that voice in the back of your head and it's you, it's your voice but you're speaking to yourself in a way that you would not speak to anyone else. Would you tell your family? Would you tell your spouse or your children that they're not good enough? Would you tell your spouse or children that they are a jerk, that they will never make anything of themselves that you, would you put them down in a way that you're putting yourself down in the back of your mind? I can guarantee that you would not, do that. So why are you doing it to yourself? This is what you have to think of. Think of why this voice in your head is putting you down when you wouldn't do that to anybody else. Why are you going against the grain of your nature when it comes to the feelings about yourself when you would never do that to anybody else? And what you have to do is change that internal dialogue. Almost pretend like you're not talking to yourself. Pretend you're talking to a member of your family. Pretend you're talking to a friend. Pretend you're giving a friend advice. So take yourself out of the situation. Take your personal self out of the situation. When you start to hear that voice in your head, almost treat it like You're having a conversation with a friend. Turn it around. You're going to become the friend. So how would you have a conversation with a friend rather than yourself? And think about how you would speak to them in the same situation. This is what you have to think of. Would it be more of a positive conversation? I bet it would. Because you're definitely not going to talk trash on them. If somebody came up to you with a problem... And they said, well, you know, say one of your children came up to you with a problem and they said, well, I don't know that I can run this race I have to do tomorrow. And you, and you tell them, well, of course you can't. You suck. You're slow. You'll never do it. You don't have the skill to do it. There's no way you can make it around the track. You're not going to beat anybody. You're slower than molasses in January. Would you actually say that to one of your children? No. But you probably say that to yourself or something like that on a daily basis. So there's no way you would do that. So think about if you were about to accomplish something or trying to accomplish something, what would you say to a family member? What would you say to your child? What would you say to your spouse? What would you say to your friend, a coworker? 
turn that into a positive. Turn that into a conversation with yourself, a mindful, cognizant conversation where you are actually in the moment and you are controlling the words and the dialogue that's going back and forth instead of just hearing it and taking what's being said by your inner self. Actually control the dialogue and you be that inner voice. When you twist it into a, not, not twist it, but when you turn it into a positive, when you change it and manipulate it into a positive and pretend that you're talking to a friend or talking to somebody else rather than yourself, this is where you're going to start changing the pattern. You're going to start changing the pattern to the point where you're going to stop talking shit on yourself. You're going to stop talking the negative and you're going to start developing a pattern of being positive and you're going to start actually being proactive and you're going to start controlling your inner dialogue and that is going to be such a positive and that is going to lead you to so many more happy and positive moments in your life. can't believe we made it through another great episode of Happy Moments Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll visit happymomentspodcast.com to listen to all of the previous episodes as well as sign up to receive any new episodes directly to your inbox. You can also share your own happy moments with me on the site. Also check out the Happy Moments Facebook group to learn more and share more information with other listeners. Follow me on all social media at Happy Moments Podcast and Happy Moments Pod. And until next episode, remember that Happiness is a wonderful, fleeting emotion, so make every happy moment count. <laughs>